I'm here in an old laboratory. Before Twitter and Instagram, this is where science used to happen. But now, thanks to social media, anyone can jump straight to the fun publishing facts part without the whole burdensome hassle of the whole research process. Heaps of scientific claims with serious health consequences are churned out daily by wellness experts. And by that I mean people that got a double major in selfies and yoga pants at Kale University. A prime example of this was wellness blogger Belle Gibson. Belle established a habit of astonishing fabrications involving myriad serious medical conditions, seemingly designed to gain maximum sympathy. It turned out her cancer story was a worse work of science fiction than Battlefield Earth. <laughs> Her story was followed by 200,000 followers on Instagram, and if she hadn't been stopped, who knows what she'd be saying today. Probably that you can cure AIDS with, I don't know, walnuts or something. Then there's Pete Evans, who thinks toothpaste, Wi-Fi and sunscreen are dangerous, and he would know. He's eaten food on television. What do you need a qualification for? Then there's Gwyneth Paltrow's website, Goop, which promotes things like smart stickers that rebalance the energy frequency in our bodies. I don't know what the <laughs> we talk about. <laughs> and people listen to these idiots because they've learned how to package idiocy to make it look sexy. It's like if the Bible had abs. So where's science in all of this? How is it losing to a bunch of vitamin spruiking narcissists? To find out more, I sat down for a chat with sciencey man, Dr. Darren Saunders. Associate Professor of Medicine at UNSW, uh, expert in genetics, molecular biology, cancer. Biochemistry. Great, forget all that. How many Instagram followers do you have? Um, 147. Like there are wellness bloggy people with like 40, 50, like 100,000. Yeah, but they're charlatans. But they're sexy charlatans. And what are you doing to get your message out? Like what, what's the most recent breakthrough you've, you've had? Well, we published a very important scientific paper last year about how breast cancers become resistant to treatment and looking at new ways that we could uh, get around that resistance to make better therapeutics. So you printed a publication. Did you also take like a butt selfie? No. Sunset yoga selfie with like a quote from Aristotle? No. Did you take a photograph of some chia seeds and your publication was sort of incidentally next to that? No, we did put out a nice press release on university letterhead. Oh God, with scientists still trying to communicate facts with useless things like words, it's time for us to step in and make facts sexy again. Say goodbye to science and hello to science -beration. For this, we'll need some kale, green liquid that's in a jar for some reason, and for Dr. Saunders to get into sports gear as if he wears it on a casual basis. Starting to feel like an expert. Yeah, I mean, you don't look like one, um, and that's that's why I trust you. With Darren now looking more sexy charlatan than scientist, it was time to check in to see if the effort had paid off. So look, 20 followers already. Now it looks like maybe this is the way science has to go. Yeah, I mean, it could be, and you know, who can argue with that? You know, 20 followers, that means now you're an expert. I was already an expert. Yeah, but now, now you're one that people will actually listen to, so yeah. you're welcome, science. Just done. Uh, yeah. It's a taxpayer's coconut. But...